Hello, welcome to Wing Ants. We're playing Arkham Horror the Card Game, and this is the secret name from the Circle Undone campaign. We're continuing our campaign with Preston and Diana playing Taboo decks. There's a link in uh, below this video that should show you the decks in Arkham DB, as well as a link to another video where I describe the changes that I've made to these decks. So, let's. Oh, the, uh, the story. Uh, changes uh, decisions that we've made is um, these two have decided that uh, they are uh, sticking with the lodge but they're actually deceiving the lodge they don't really trust the lodge which makes sense from uh, both of their kind of uh, nervous kind of relationship with the lodge, the lodge they already have lore wise uh, and then they are not telling the lodge about the coven so because of that uh, they get one cultist token in their bag all right, so let's draw up opening hands. This is Preston drawing up his opening five cards. We get a Gravedigger Shovel, Lil Santiago, a Lone Wolf, Intel Report, and we immediately replace the Lodge Debts. Okay, so we get the Thermos. Um, so the Intel Report is good. The Shovel allows us to fight rats. It's not bad. Um, what we're Kind of happy with this hand. I would like the chance to get a Leo though, but I think we're just going to go with this hand. I'm Diana. Diana's drawing up. All right, we got the 45 automatic. Happy to see that counter spell. Hmm. Okay. Now that could be a useful cancel, I suppose. Replace the Silver Twilight. Wait. Do we want Counterspell this early on? We've got a lot of cancels. John to the Flame could be good. Alright. And two Wards of Protection. We're going to need a Horror Soak. I'm going to throw back the Counterspell for now. Just because the, the none of the tokens are bad at the beginning. They get bad later on. Okay, we get a let me handle this. Okay, so we can get clues with Drawn to the Flame. And we have the 45 automatic. So, we're fighting. And we have lots of cancels. Oh, so she should start with three trauma. We will need to get that, that uh, we're going to need to get that uh, thermos out stat to get her healthy. Okay. So looking at the doom, the agenda, we have a uh, four doom agenda plus um, enemies uh, get plus, plus one health and uh, defeating Brown Jenkins would give us a clue. The act is a six clue act. We have to be in Walter Gilman's room, which requires two clues to get in. So really we're gonna have to get eight clues. We are at the moldy halls. Four shroud, two clues. Preston will go first. He gets four on family inheritance. Oh, I'm shorting myself. He should have five resources. All right, so we will play three for Lola Santiago, one for Lone Wolf, and two for Grave Digger Shovel. And that is his first turn. Diana, we're, we're, our plan is to go and find her uh, her blade. So we're going to spend three, four resources to 
get 45 automatic out. We will grab a resource. I actually think we'll grab two resources. She's going to need. She's going to need money to get to play all the things that we want to play. So, all right, so that's turn one. Doing upkeep. Preston's going to get a plucky. And a resource. Diana. Steadfast. And a resource. All right, we're at one of four doom. Preston's going to get Century of Secrets, test five for each point you fail by. And you're going to do a damage to every. We don't want that to happen. Uh, Diana will Dark Insight this. Just pull it back in. I don't want Lola Santiago, Santiago taking damage right away. And this actually gets shuffled back in. Diana will get Dialogue Voices. Test three for each point you fail by. Discard one random card from your hand. Okay. So we could deny existence on this, but she can't put it under her because she's already done that once this phase. We can commit Steadfast. Diabolic Voices is a three willpower. And we are going to be going at... She's at two already, and Steadfast gets her up to five. So that gives her a five willpower. Five B three up by two. Minus four. One random for each point you fail by. One random card from your hand. So I think we are just going to um oh we don't have the night existence. Okay, just going two cards from our hand. That is truly unfortunate. Okay, order protection, and I'll let me handle this. All right, Diane is going to go looking for a way to get her Twilight Blade out. So she is going to go here. This just crept a door. After you reveal landlord's quarters, search for a deck in the Storm of Wrath Moldy Halls. Okay. So there are two clues here. A two shroud location. And we gotta go find some rats and put them on Preston. So Diana will investigate up by one. Zero. She gets a clue. She will investigate up by one. four. No luck. Okay, Preston is going to attack the rats. He gets five resources. Attacking the right rats up by two with a very bigger shovel. That is minus one. They take a damage. Attacking the rats up by one. one. Rats are dead. And then he will take money off of family inheritance. He'll go ahead and spend one to put Plucky into play. I 
because that's fast. All right, upkeep. You get a cunning distraction. A resource. Diana. Another steadfast. All right, we're at two of four doom. Preston, with the Realm of Torment, put it into play in your threat area. When your turn begins, resolve each. Oh man, that's the worst. And how is he gonna? How's he gonna stop that? I guess with Plucky, huh? All right, and Fate of All Fools goes to Diana. She will go ahead and ward protection that. Give me a resource. Taking the horror. She gets to draw a card. She gets Silver Twilight Acolyte. She gets a resource. Okay. Well, bummer about that Silver Twilight Acolyte, huh? So she will shoot with a 45 automatic. Silver Twilight Acolyte. Is it 4v2? Minus one, takes two damage. All right, she's going to punch, make steadfast. So she's at three, four, five, six, two, two. Okay, minus two, you do not fail. He is gone. We're gonna investigate up by one to get this clue. Minus one. All right, two clues. All right, what are we doing now with Preston? He gets his five resources, but he loses three. Of the Realm of Torment. How are we going to beat Realm of Torment? Spending a lot of resources. Okay. So action one. Take the resource off. Action two. Move down here. See what's what. Okay. Okay. So that is two clues. And we're going to take horror, which is not good if we don't clear this realm of torment. Okay, so if we spend, we're at two, and we want to be up to five for investigating this, right? Let's see, we're going to have to spend five or four resources on this realm of torment. Yes. I think I'm going to draw and see if I can't get something that will help me. I can always spend those resources later. So, Ace of Rods, interesting. Okay. So now we have to test the Swallow Torment. We're gonna spend four resources to go up to five. Elder sign. We pass. We're good. Okay. Upkeep. We get Leo. Resource. Good. Glad to see Leo. Always glad to see Leo. Oh, the Twilight Blade. The thing we were gonna go yoink. <laughs> All right. Makes me wonder if we really do need to search for an item. Maybe we don't. Okay, we're at three of four doom. And we draw counters. Preston, fate of all fools. Okay. And Diana. Okay. Field this card an asset you control. Ooh, man. Okay. One, two, three. 
three, four. So we're having to beat a two willpower test. And we are at one, two, three. Oh man. If only I had the Twilight Blade out, this wouldn't be a problem. I'm gonna commit Drawn to the Flame to be two up on the willpower. Minus two, we pass. So now do we just draw cards from Diana? Because right now there's not a lot of useful things she can do. Let's go, let's let uh, Preston go first. All right, so he gets his five resources here on family inheritance. He'll spend five, six to play Leo. And we'll spend three resources. And tap Lola to grab a clue. So between them we have one, two, three, four. And we have three actions left. We're gonna draw a card. And then Leo. Action three, we'll draw a dig deep. I think we'll take our resource. All right, I think Diana wants to be in that location. She's going to go one and two. Let's see, is there anything against drawing a card? It's fine. Oh wait, we'll spend three resources to put a Twilight Blade out, yeah. Because we want that out. Okay, cool. Good deal. All right, upkeep. Draw Rise to the Occasion, nice. One resource. Diana, delay the inevitable. All right, agenda advances. Out comes Brown Jenkin. So we gotta search the deck for him. All right, it's Brown Jenkin. He is a one one four. That will become a three three four. Uh, he's aloof and a hunter, so he'll follow you around, and the annoying thing he does uh, is that he will make you discard all your cards and draw up new cards if he's at your location. The new agenda... This is giving him plus two health. That's why he's three health. Um, and he has on it that he gives uh, each creature enemy plus two fight, which includes him. Okay, and after you defeat him, you get a clue. So we're definitely gonna try to defeat him. All right, now we're drawing encounters. Squatting dreams. Oh, this one is super annoying. Let's see. Rise to the occasion on this would get us to four D five. It's been two resources on Plucky. Yeah. All right, so we will rise to the occasion and then spend that gets us to four and we'll get to spend three resources to get five, six, seven. Up oh, by two. Disquieting dreams. Minus two, pass. Okay, Diana gets shapes in the mist. What is the haunted on this location? One horror or discard an asset you control. All right, she will switch the Twilight Blade. She will play uh, Order of Protection. She 
gives her a horror. But makes this not go off because it's going to surge into something else. So might as well. I'm mean, going to take the horror anyway. Okay. So Preston, he's got his four resources here. He's going to spend his four resources to play Thermos. Get it? No, but Plucky. Three charges on it. We'll tap Thermos. Our second action. I'll heal two of Diana's horror. Because she has two trauma. She actually has three trauma. Alright, so that is a thing. When we beat this investigate check, we will be at two v three. Need two actions. Third action, we're going to draw a card. Bring it to your shovel. Fourth action, we'll get a resource. All right. Diana will engage Brown Jenkin. And she is going to attack with the 45 automatic. Uh, so he's at three, she's at three, four, five, V3. Zero. Takes two damage. She's gonna punch and Preston will commit a Grave Digger Shovel. That makes her 4v3. She want to commit this delay the inevitable. She doesn't. So maybe we don't commit Grave Digger Shovel. Yeah, let's take another shot with the 45. Up by two. one. All right, Brown Jenkin is currently defeated and made a clue. So we're at a lot of the clues that we need. Now, draw a card, plucky, get a resource, Preston, or uh, Diana, Emergency cash. Resource. Alright. <clears throat> One of six two. Terror in the night. Kinda don't want this to surge. We're at one. All right, we'll go two, three, four. And we'll commit our other plucky. We're one up on this. That is minus one. So we actually pass. And then Diana, bedeviled, okay. Can't trigger stuff, which is probably okay. It's gonna be hard for us to beat it until we get some cancels. All right, Diana will use the action here to look through and find an item, which is the 45 automatic would have been the next thing we would have drawn. Ah. Hmm. 
I just want to start aggressively drawing with Diana so I can get some pencils out. So we'll see how this goes. Because uh, we just got to get our willpower up, I think, so we can get rid of this bedeviled. So she's going to draw card, Dark Prophecy. Okay, well, that is good. She is going to investigate at three. And she is playing Dark Prophecy. She's at 3v3 on this investigate. And Preston will commit Leo de Luca. So now we draw five. We're looking for skulls because skulls are worth negative one. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, well, we got the minus two instead. That is a bar. All right, well, she still gets to draw a card. She gets six cents, which is not very useful right now. And a resource. Okay. Uh, Preston gets his four resources. One, two, three, four. So he'll spend three of those resources on Lola. And grab this glue. So we've got one, two, three. And he will move for his second action. Actually, that's his first action. We're going to draw, looking for like a welcome. <laughs> All right, that was the second action. Third action is we will spend two to put well connected into play. Let's see, we have all fools over. So, first action is to move, second action is to draw, third action is to put well connected into play. Are we just drawing resources at this point? Yeah, I think so. So, he'll get a resource to make well connected actually worth something. Okay, and then that's it. So, upkeep. He draws another dig deep, he gets a resource. Diana, we'll get a deny existence. Perfect. And a resource. Maybe she can make this six cents be worth something. Or, <laughs> or two of six two. We draw a meddlesome familiar. Nothing we can do about that, but it will get us a clue, I suppose. Now Jenkins comes back out. Engage with you. Okay, so Preston's going to take one damage. Alright, and then Diana. Fooled by the stars. She has to move. Which means has three willpower to get rid of this. I forgot that she can't do anything because of the devil. <laughs> so. That is indeed a problem. I was actually going to delay the inevitable on Preston, but oh well. So she doesn't mind being at that location with Brown Jenkin because she can deny existence, but she can't do anything about the uh, the bedeviled. So yeah, I think she'll just stay there and deny existence when he does his trick. That makes sense. Okay, so let's see what Preston can do. He gets five resources on Lone Wolf. Actually, I could maybe be able to 
advance this turn, and then we wouldn't have to worry about the problem shrinking. Because he would get discarded. That's even better. Okay. Yes. Okay. So the first thing, first action, is Preston gets rid of the, the Grave Digger Shovel, which gets him a clue. Then he spends two clues and moves in to Walter Gilman's room. Walter Gilman's room is a forced route two clue location with a action to draw three cards to take one horror. Also a haunted discard top two cards of your deck. This is where we want to be to spend. We got to spend six clues if we're here. So um, he will spend four resources to play Intel Report. You get two clues off of that location, which I should have put two clues on there. Okay. He bought those two clues. So now he's got the clues he needs. So first action, grave your shovel. Second action, move in. Third action is to grab those clues. And then we'll spend two resources to play Dig deep. All right. Not too shabby. Walter make it down there. All right. Then Diana will move. Two, we will go ahead and advance, spending all six of our clues. And we'll look at the back of Act One. Okay, so we're going to swap Walter Gelman's room with Keziah's room. We're going to get rid of everything. All of these uh, locations, which means Brown Jenkin gets defeated. Or not defeated. Goes into the discard pile. Alright, so I will be back in a second as I set things up. Okay, welcome back. Got a cleaner board now. We now have Kazaya's room, which is three shroud, zero clue location. After you successfully investigate, uh, we can put an unknown places card into play from the top of that deck. Haunted is you discard until a hex is discarded and draw that card. So that's where we're at. The other thing is that uh, we get to choose an investigator to take control of the set aside black book asset. So that will be Mr. Preston. That boosts his willpower and his intellect, so not too bad. And uh, finally, we have to shuffle in two of these strange geometries. Diana will play her emergency cash three resources, she'll spend two of those to quickly play Delay the Inevitable on Preston, which may tax him, but hopefully he'll draw something that will hurt him, <laughs> and I can let that go off. Okay, uh, so upkeep, Preston, flashlight, Diana, Dodge. Okay. And Preston will get Century of Secrets for each point you fill by discard top and encounter deck. Okay. Yeah, this will not stop, unfortunately, damage to my allies, but this is where it is. We're going at 1v5.
All right, it's minus one. So we're just counting five cards. The devil, the hex, two is a terror special, three is a curse, four is an omen, five, ah, oh, there's your curse. Yeah, we had two curses, so we have to put a damage on Leo, a damage on Lola, And we will let delay, delay the inevitable pop to avoid the damage on Preston, which will give Diana a card, Chance of Blade, nice, and a resource. Okay, and Diana's got to move. Does she have a way of testing this bedeviled? She's only she's at four. She's Four v three. Well, now Preston actually has a good way of investigating, so he gets his four resources. He will pull them off for action one. So one, two, three, four, five. He will investigate using well connected. Which puts him up by two. He's getting he's got his one plus the one from Lola plus the one from the black book plus the two from Walking. So he's up by two up by two. Okay, that's minus two. So we get to put one of these unknown places into play, which we will do. Wait, did Diana draw an encounter card? I think she did not. All right. So, table this for a second. She has to draw Shapes in the Mist, which means you discard until you get a hex. Don't really cancel that anyway. All right, so we discard until we get a hex. Curse. by the stars. Oh my goodness, she'll take four horror. Okay, and then Shapes the Mist surges into Medelson Familiar. Okay. Which is going to be we have to go find Brown Jenkin and put him into play. And she takes damage, right? Oh my goodness, okay. Well, that was brutal. So, back to our regular scheduled programming of the physics classroom after you successfully investigate a two or more discovered clue at another location. So there are two clues here. Let's put it up here. This is a victory point location. And he moves to the physics classroom. Right, so he's got how many actions left? He's got two actions left. I don't think we really. If we discard all these cards, it's not the worst thing. Okay, he will move back for action number three. Action number four, he's going to investigate. Spending two resources, go up by two. There's two resources on Plucky to go up by two. It's plus one. Okay, so he puts another location to play. You can test fight or agility for each point you fail by take one damage. And there are four clues here. Okay, 
Okay, so we don't want to take a lot of damage. What do we have? Commit a dig deep, which we will do. Put this at 3v3. And then we'll spend three more resources. Throw up by three. Okay, minus three, we take no damage. So we are at an extra dimensional location. Actually, I decided to put these up here for now. There. Okay, cool. All right, Diana is kind of okay hanging out here with Mr. Brown Jenkin. And just trying to test her bedeviled and such. So she will test bedeviled at four B three. Zero. Okay, bedeviled is gone. She's going to test pull by the stars at 4v3. Minus two. Okay, that's not a pass. Then she's going to move into the physics classroom. So she needs to move so that these don't go off. Now Brown Jenkin will hunt. And she will have to discard her entire hand, but she will say no. She will deny existence on that. So she does not discard her hand. She draws a card, another six cents, and gets a resource. Now we've got her willpower up to five, which is not too bad for clearing treacheries. Lone Wolf for Preston. Diana with a marksmanship. Interesting. She could actually take out Brown Jenkin now while still aloof with a 45 automatic. Okay. Four doom. Did I get a resource? I don't think I did. Okay. Strange geometry. Oh man. That stinks, because now I'm going to spend more going into the Twilight Abyss. That is unfortunate. Diana gets the Diabolic Voices. For each point you feel, I discard a random card from your hand. All right, how many Diabolic Voices are already in the deck? Probably all of them, right? There's one. All right, so we're testing three, and we have one, two, three, four, five willpower. Is there anything we want to commit here? We don't really want to commit a dodge. So. Zero. Okay, cool. So what is Preston gonna do? It's buy resources on Lone Wolf. He investigates. What is that? Let's see, he would be going at he's three naturally, three v four. Okay. So first action he'll pull a resource. So he with ball connected he would be up by two. Second action, a resource, third action, a resource, then he will investigate. Uh, 
happy and well connected to go three, four, five. Oh man, and six feet four. And it doesn't want to connect. Okay, I spend two resources. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, before. All right, we don't need to wait. Yeah, seven before is what we want. Yep. Up by three. Zero. Okay, well, we got the clue. We can go anywhere we want, right? Any revealed location. So do we want, I think we want to go here. We're still at 2v3 on this test. Commit the lone wolf. To go 3v3. Commit three resources to be three up. Spend three resources. Spend three resources. Three or resources on the gate. See up. Elder sign. Okay, we pass, and we're where we want to be. Okay. Diana is going to take a shot with the forty-five automatic. Spending two resources play marksmanship which will allow her to shoot an aloof brown jenkin so she is at three four five I commit the twilight blade e6 so three up Minus three, Brown Jenkin is gone. Marksmanship goes underneath Diana. So she's fully loaded now. <laughs> she draws a card. Let me handle this. And gets a resource. She will move. Zaya's room, and then she will test 6v3 to get rid of one of these pulled by the stars. And it's a negative one, so that pulled by the stars is gone. All right. Preston gets lodged debts. He doesn't use those resources, he uses those resources. Okay. Unexpected courage for Diana. Five of six doom. And we're gonna draw disquieting dreams. Oh, just five willpower. If you fail. Okay, you discard the top card of the encounter deck. Yeah. Well, I don't see us passing this. So. Oh, but but Diana could. Yes, she could. Okay, yep, Diana says, let me handle this. Okay, and now we are going Bible power where it's six. Okay. Unexpected courage to go up by three. Okay, zero, and that's gone. Okay. 
get too horror when the encounter deck blows. This strange geometry is gone. Yeah, I'm gonna have Preston go first. He's got his five resources here. I'll spend two of those. I'll play a flashlight. That is three charges. Second action, he will spend a charge. So we'll reduce the shroud. He will use Lola Santiago. I'm just not going to tap her because it's going to make things a mess, but we know. She gets a clue for free because the shroud is zero. Now we're investigating. Minus one. Okay, we will spend the remaining resources, one, two, three, to put the Ace of Rods into play. So first action is Flashlight, second action Investigate, third action Ace of Rods. Fourth action, I think we just get a resource. And then we are hopefully ready for what happens next. Okay, first thing is Diana is going to do Pulled by the Stars. spend four resources to put another automatic out. We'll go ahead and spend three resources and put six cents out. Seems good. Upkeep. Preston gets the tower. We gotta use that ace of rods quickly then. <laughs> Can't commit cards to tests. Three. Thirteen resources, I should say. Oh, Diana gets the beat cop. Nice. Alright. Are you ready? the showdown okay it is act two so we set aside nahab she does one damage two horror after the enemy and any phase begins if she's ready place one doom on her she's a hunter retaliate and uh, she gets she's gonna be at four fight because of the agenda and she is gonna be at four five health because of the agenda And we have to go around, grab Brown Jenkin, also it's going to be here. So, okay. And then we need to put, shuffle on these two ghostly presents, which is horrible. Preston, extra mental visions, test two. It's card an asset you control. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so this is a four willpower test. If you was to tap, well connected, he would be at 
one, two from the back row, three, four. Are you okay with just losing Plucky at this point? I think maybe we are. Okay. So we're just going at 2v4. Huh. Alright, so Plucky is gone. And then Diana. Wrapped. Negative one due to your skills and your first skill test. <sighs> not happy about that. Okay, Preston's going to go first. He's going to put his five resources in family inheritance. He's going to investigate using his flashlight. Reduce the shroud to zero. He's going to use Lola Santiago to get a clue. He's now going to investigate. one so he gets the clue right, so that's the first action second action he's gonna move here third action has been five resources to play kind of distraction which will evade and exhaust Both uh, Brown Jenkins and Nadab. Okay, he will engage Brown Jenkins. So that was one, two, three of the kind of instruction, four to engage this exhausted Brown Jenkins. And then he will remove Ace of Rods from the game and attack Brown Jenkin. And well connected to go one, two, three from the Ace of Rods, four, five. So we're at five, B two, five, B three. Okay, that's minus one because his eyes room is not extra dimensional location. So we do one of the four damage we need to do to Brown Jenkins. All right, it is time for Diana. All right, she's going to shoot with the automatic. Does she, does she engage first so we don't hit Preston? She's up by two. I'll engage first. Start by two. Minus three. Well, I guess we're glad we did that. Take another shot with a 45 automatic. Up by two. Another token. This one. All right, it's two damage. And last, we'll swing with a Twilight Blade at six. We use the willpower. Sixty-four or sixty-three. Up by three. Minus one. All right, so he is defeated. And we get a clue. Okay, then we will, Nahab will come in, gauge, press 
Sinn. Die Wapki, was denn wir? Marvin Forster. And I'm going to go ahead and put, as I always do, this tower out in the threat area, just so we know why I'm not committing cards. Oh man. And then he gets a release from us. Diana. Yeah, we have shriveling, so we have, do have a way to do combat here. All right, one of eight doom. Person gets ghostly presence. She resolve a hunter and she attacks each investigator at her location. So who's gonna t who's gonna t hurt the most? Oh, I should have played the lady the lady inevitable or whatever. All right. I have a dodge from Diana. I'm just trying to decide who I want to protect. Whether it's Preston or whether it's her. I think Preston can handle it. So he takes. The horror onto Lola. The horror onto Leo. The damage on the person himself. And then we will spend one resource and play dodge for Diana. And she can't go under her because she already has enough cards under her. All right, next card. Any diabolic voices tested three willpower? How many of those? I think we've already counted this right. There's one. Yeah. So this becomes a five willpower test, and we are at six. Discard one random card from your hand. Man, I do not discard random cards from my hand. Alright, 6v3. This would be a disaster <laughs> if I lost either my B-cup or my shriveling. I could lose both. Minus 2. Alright. So we lose one card at random from our hand. Go, shriveling. All right. Ouch. All right. So Preston gets four resources, which he will use to immediately pay off the mob enforcer. He's gonna evade me down. He's at two. I'm well connected. He is three, four. Only up by one. Okay. It's one, two, three, four, and we'll spend multi five. So our two up on this evade. She's not alert. Elder sign. Okay. She is evaded. Now I've got decisions to make. We got two more actions. Oh, we got rid of Plucky, so we can't investigate because it's an ultimate ploy. All right, we'll take a resource and we will use Thermos to heal two horror off of Diana. Man, I wish I 
had enough money to put the beat drop into play. But, okay. Actually, rather than taking this resource, Preston's just gonna move out of here. He just does not wanna be around what's about to go down. Okay, um, so, we're attacking with Twilight Blade, Nayab. We're at the, we could be fighting at, all right, we're going at, 6v4, up by 2. Minus 2, that's 1 damage. Doing it again. Okay, minus 2. She's at two damage, and we'll do it again. Minus one, okay, cool. So that is another damage on her. Then we will spend two resources and tap Twilight Blade play, if I can find it, to delay the inevitable. Okay, cool. On Diana. So that when we get that ghostly presence, we can just ignore it. Oh, I forgot about that racked. You get minus, minus one to each of your skills during the first skill test. See, I would have definitely tested that first, and I would have passed it. So we'll just say that I got rid of that. Well, there's no way I would have tested. Yeah, we'll say I tested that, and we didn't do a damage on Nadab because I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have wanted to go one up on that. This is the problem with this uh, cycle. Is all the stuff that uh... okay? So she's gonna come on. You just—it's hard to keep track of absolutely everything that's going on. All right, upkeep. Preston will get cherish keepsake. Resource. Diana. Shriveling. Another shriveling. Resource. Here at two, draw terror and a knight. Hmm, do we want a well connected this? I think we probably do. So we were well connected to go one, two, three, four, v four. That's fine, actually. One, two, three, four, I mean, four v four is fine. Minus three. So we fail by three or more. Darn. So it surges into ghostly presence. Okay. So Nadab will attack. Nahab will attack. We'll pop delay the inevitable. It goes under Diana. She gets a card. She makes cash. And a resource. Right, and Diana draws this, another racked, Ugh. okay, and because the counter card, the counter deck is out of cards, she takes two horror from evil past, and she has to test. Three willpower. And she is at six, but she's minus two because of Oh, she only got okay, she only has one racked. Okay, so she's at five. So at five be three. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, so evil pass stays. We'll go ahead and reshuffle this. Okay, Preston gets five resources. One wolf. He will take them off. Action one. With action two, he will draw a card. Do that with the right bottom piece. Action three. Are you going to move in? Action four, he will engage Nahab. All right. Action one for Diana is to spend four resources and play Beat Cop. Action two is to take a shot with the automatic. Going at 6v4. Wants an Ahab. Okay, minus two. We do not fail. She takes two damage. We will beat cop the last point of damage. And then we will test Racked at 63. All right, minus one. Racked is gone. Okay, Scarlet Blade should not be like that. All right, Preston draws Lola Santiago and a resource. Diana, Holy Rosary. And a resource. Okay, good deal. Three of eight doom. Let's go. Racked for Preston. Diana. It's Quiet Dreams. Test five willpower. If you fail, move into a threat area. Oh man. I wish I could go up by two somehow. Yeah, we'll just go up by one. It's fine. Skulls are worth negative one. You too. All right, it's gonna go in her turn area. All right. Okay, so what have we got going on? We test racked. We put another location into play. All right, so the first thing she's going to do is she's going to test Preston's rack. She's at 6 feet 3. Zero. Rack is gone. Diana will investigate. 6 feet 3. Plus one. She's going to put this into play is Court of Great Old Ones. After you test three willpower for each point you fail, I take one horror. Okay. These two are connected. There are four places of the three points. Okay. 
I'm just testing 63 willpower. Nice too, she passes. All right, now that she is there, I will go ahead and investigate 63. And here we go, another token. All right, she did not fail. She gets this. Okay, and then she has to discard. A card for me is, hey, medicine familiar. Okay, well, I'm happy about the discarding dreams right now. That was good. Okay. So, this person really doesn't want to go in there. But you can go into the physics classroom and pick up, take clues off that location. Can you boost high enough? Can you get six? Right, he's got five resources. I don't think he can, but we're going to go ahead and spend four of those resources. Play, pay off the tower. Oh, we have the flashlight. Okay. And we'll move in second action. He will investigate with the flashlight. We're reducing the shroud down to two. He's at 3v2. He taps. Wait, do we already use Will Connector? What do we use it for? No, we do not. So, we're using Will Connected to go. Because that's actually what's the five there. So he's at three, four, five, six, seven. He's going at 7v2. Plus one. All right, so we succeed by more than one, so we can get a clue off this location. So that was nice. So action one was to play off the tower. Action two was to move. Action three was to investigate. Action four, we'll put Cherish Keepsake into play. So we have a horse of this move or stat booster. Let's say we're here. Matter of fact, we're gonna put our stat booster underneath. It's all connected. Okay. And now we have an asset we can discard. Okay, cool. So not bad. Upkeep. He will draw a backstab. Could come in handy. And a resource. Diana. Prepare for the worst. And a resource. We've got, we've seen all of our weapons, so it's no big deal. All right. Four of eight doom. We get diabolic voices. Test three willpower for each point you fail by. Discard one random card from your hand. Um, I'm okay with that actually because that one random card might be a large deaths. So yeah, we're going to test 3 willpower going at 2v3. Okay, so three cards at random from my hand. Please be large debts. Please be large debts. All right, three cards. One, Willa Santiago, and White Pips. Two, look what I found. Oh man. And three, Gravedigger Shovel. No such luck. All right. Okay. And then Diana. Disquieting dreams again. Okay. Yuck. She sent. 6v5. He's gonna, we're gonna end up discarding two of those. Minus one. 
All right, so we pass actually. It's nice. Okay, I think Preston is going to go first. He gets five resources on here. He'll take them off. He's going to investigate using well connected, which gets him at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight v four. Minus two, so he gets a clue from this location and this location. Is that a second action? Third action? He'll move in. Let's see. He's still be going at 3v3. We don't really have anything to commit here, so draw a card, I think. Drawing a card. Another thermos. Could be useful. All right, Diana. She's going to investigate up by three. Actually, no. He's going two resources to play Holy Rosary. He's going to investigate up by four. Action, I think she will move back. All right, and then she has to discard two two cards off here. All right, good. We got rid of a ghostly presence. Nice. Oh no, only one. <laughs> one. I thought I was thinking that we failed that other test. So we know what Preston's going to get. Unfortunately. All right. Uh, he's got a cherished keepsake now. And a resource. And yeah, a dark prophecy and a resource. Okay, five eight doom. We you know here comes. Okay. Oh, I search the encounter deck and discard pile for Nayab and spawn her at your location. Diana, Century of Secrets. Test five will power each point you fill by. Discard the top card. Okay, this one seems like a big deal. Testing 75. Minus two. All right, we pass. Let me think how we're going to do this. We have enough clues to advance. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, we do. How greedy can we be? Pretty greedy. Okay. So Preston can evade a dab. But it would be nice if we already had things out in play. Shriveling would make quick work of the um, we have. Okay. So I think Diana goes first. She'll play Emergency Cash, which gives me three resources, and then puts Shriveling into play. And then she will investigate at 7v3 to put a location out. Minus one. All right. So we'll put this location out. We are not going to go there. 
I'm going to see you so we can deal with Nahab at the end of next turn. We should have one more charge, I'm sure. Okay. So Preston is going to evade. Or he could sneak it. <laughs> he could sneak a backstabber. No. We'll evade. Let's see. He's got four resources on him. So he's evading a 2v3. Well connected, it would be two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three. Okay, so yeah, we were well connected to evade Nahab up by four. Minus two, she's evaded. That's first action. Second action, we will charge off Thermos and heal two of Diana's horror. Third action, we will move in and see what this is. All right. Move to any revealed location. If you test control tower, there are two clues, three shroud locations. Haunted isn't bad. I don't really even need these clues. Let's see. So, first action is to evade, second action, third, fourth, and third action move. We will just spend three resources on Lola to grab a clue from here, and then we'll move back. So cool. All right. Oh, and then, yeah, Diana should have discarded. Oh, I missed some familiar. That's <laughs> second time. Squatting dreams. Thank you. Okay, and now, who are we going to put me? Could just backstab shriveling, but yeah. Shriveling should be cop is fine too. We'll put Nahab on Diana. Okay, upkeep, flashlight, resource, Diana, delay the inevitable. Resource. Six of eight down. Draw. Realm of Torment. Okay. And Diana. Medicine Familiar. We will ward of protection that if we've got a ward of protection. Look and see what we've got. We do not, but we can dark insight. So we'll spend two and dark insight that. We'll actually place these face up as that will help us know what's going on. Okay. So we'll shuffle this back in. Wait, what did I just shuffle back in? I don't know. It was the wrong card. Wasn't it? Oh no, I grabbed the wrong mail some familiar because I had one. Okay, so let me just grab the other one and put it out here. No point in having two of those. Shuffle back in. All right, so it's Diana's turn. She is going to shoot with the 45 automatic at Nahab. And so 
she's going at three, four, five feet four. So we'll head. We'll commit. Prepare for the worst. To go six feet four. Actually, I'm not sure when the ignore for the retaliate comes on the automatic, but we'll do it afterwards. Six feet four, elder sign. We could pull a card back. Do we want to pull any of these cards back? I don't think so. So the 45 goes under her. She gets a card. Nice. And a resource. The reason the 45 can go under her is because we're ignoring Nahab's Retaliate. So she takes two damage. We're going to use a charge of shriveling. So we're at uh, like seven, eight, nine. Four. Minus three. That's two more damage. And then we will put a damage on Beat Cop. Take her out. All right, and then we will investigate at 7v3. into play. We'll put this one right there. We're not going to go to it yet. Or could we go to it? I mean, we might as well go to it, I guess. So yeah, we'll go ahead and reveal it. Which is Witch House Ruins. Okay. You can investigate if you succeed instead of discovering a hill to a horror. Okay. So we could advance. Question is how hard do we want to go after these last victory points? There's two of those. Hmm. All right. Well, it is Preston's turn. He has, he gets five resources on the lone wolf or on three inheritance. I guess we will. Okay, realm of torment. We have to discard until we find a hex. Um, Jenkin, yay! Fate of all fools. Glad to see that go. Curse. Oh, actually, we would have had to discard for Diana's thing, but it doesn't matter. Okay, we get the uh, extra dimensional visions test two willpower. This guy gets plus one difficulty for every ten cards and encounter this card. This card asks you to control. We totally don't care because we can just discard the flashlight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're going at two v three on this. two. If we fail, so we'll discard our flashlight. No biggie. Okay, now we will go ahead and we'll use well connected. We'll investigate up right at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight B three. Oh, tentacle. That's no good. Okay. I feel like we can do this. All right. We're going to spend 10 resources and pay off lodge debts. And that's our second action. 
and then third and fourth, we'll grab two resources. Okay, we're gonna have testing three willpower uh, for Realm of Torment. We wanna be up by two. We are at two, so we'll go, we'll commit our thermos, be three and two resources on Dig Deep to be up by two, two willpower. Zero. Okay, cool. It's gone. All right, upkeep. Diana will get rise to the occasion. Nice. Or not Diana, Preston. A resource. Diana gets terrible secret. We will deny existence on that. Just tap my blade. Resource. Okay, now we are at seven of eight doom. And we get the deviled. Okay, not trigger. Okay, and Diana will get strange geometry. So she goes off into some weird place with a clue. Okay, Diana will investigate. She is at one, two, three, four, five B four. How can we boost this? I can't. This is gonna be rough actually. Alright. <laughs> Alright, testing one it went up. Minus one, hey, easy game. We got a clue, and we can go to any location. It's gonna be this one. We're gonna investigate, three up, four up, no, three up. Do we dark prophecy this? I think we do. Yeah, we'll dark prophecy. We need a resource. One, two, three, four, and five. We get the skull, which is worth negative one. This goes under her. We get a card and a resource, and we can put this into play. Let's see what it is. Moldy Halls. We can get a card back from our discard. Is there a card we want to get back from our discard? I don't feel like there is. I think we're set up nicely. So our first action is to do this. Section action, do that. Third action, I guess she moves back, right? There's not really a card we want from our discard. Okay, she moves back. All right, then. Oh, we should have tested the bedeviled. Whatever. Okay. Um, so we've got five resources goes on family inheritance. The devil means we can't trigger things. So no, four resources on family inheritance because Diana's there messing up our lone wolf. Okay. So we well connected. Test the deviled. Remember it. No. We will dig deep. Spend one, two. So we're at two, three, four, five. Two up on this. devil is gone. I forgot that I was supposed to discard a card for Diana's thing. So dialogue voices is gone. All right. Uh, so that was our first action. Second action. We will tap well connected to go at 
three, four, five, six, three up. And let's investigate. Put the next location to play. This is our last victory point location. Okay, minus three. There it is. This is the city of the older things. Okay, two horror. Okay, well, bye bye, cherished keepsake. Okay, and we put the top card, but that doesn't actually do anything because there is no top card to put into play. And this has four clues and it's a three shot location. First action cleared, you doubled. Second action is investigated. We have two actions left. So we will spend two resources to put out another flashlight. Three charges on it. We will last action tap flashlight we're investigating a 2v1 well we'll spend one res oh, we'll, uh, spend one resource on Lola to get by a clue for one we'll play light rise to the occasion which gets us up to three four five six one. Zero. Unnecessary, but it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> we got a clue. All right. Upkeep. Draw. Intel report. Perfect. And a resource. Diana. Unexpected courage. Resource. All right. And agenda will advance. It's kind of unpleasant. But we get if it is act one, two, this four doom on agenda, four A's in your play. All right. So and four doom on this agenda, which is an eight, eight doom agenda. Okay, and then we'll draw our card, Terror in the Night. Okay, we'll tap well connected for this. We're at two, three, four, five. Going up by one, we'll Up by one. It's fine. Minus one, we pass. So that's good. And Diana, pulled by the stars. Okay. So you can always easily test that to get rid of it. So Preston will spend, well, he's got five resources on family inheritance. And we'll spend four of them to just play Intel Report and buy these two clues. Action one. Action two, he's gonna move into Kazaya's room. Action three, he moves into the witch's ruins. We will just take a resource. Last action. All right. 
I know we'll, te we'll test 73 for the pulled by the stars. Elder sign. Is there anything we want to take back? I don't think so. Pull by the stars gets clean and cleared. She will move in to the Witch House Ruins. She's going to spend two resources and blades away the inevitable on Preston just because. And then I guess we will take a resource. We gotta discard one for disquieting dreams. Alright, and now it's upkeep. Preston will draw sneak attack level two. Nice. And get a resource. Diana. Prepare for the worst. Resource. We're at five of eight doom. Bedeviled nurture. We'll use a card to control. Okay. And Diana. Diabolic voices for each one. Oh, this card. One random card from our hand. We don't care. We're at seventy three. And this. two the pass actually we're at seven the probably not five I mean even if it was five we would have still passed so cool alrighty then so Preston will spend oh and then delay the inevitable goes away we didn't use it Preston will spend or we'll put uh Four resources on this green inheritance. We'll spend ten clues. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't think we're gonna have enough clues to do what I want to do, but ten clues. To advance this. But this is a side site of sacrifice into play. We're just going to move this up here. And we'll get the side of sacrifice, which is fourth round, six clue location. Investigators spend two clues a group, move one day to the gym from Nahab. The action does not provoke attack of opportunity. At the end of the round, add clues to this location until it has six clues on it. You must place one doom on Nahab or name Nahab attacks you. You're haunted. Okay. So that is fine. Alright. If it is uh, agenda four, find Nahab, even if she's out of play, and place her at the side of sacrifice, move each doom onto her. So. She's here. I'm pretty sure Brown Jenkins with her, yes? Yes, he is here. All right. And all the doom goes under her. Alright. So the question is do we need to evade her? Not. Did we use Wealth Connector? I think we did. Yeah, because we got the bedeviled. Alright. So we need to remove five doom. We have enough clues to do one, two, three, four. So not quite enough. Okay. So Preston action one moves in. Nahab comes on down. 
he will task he will evade tapping well connected which puts him at we're trying to beat three he's at two three four five six v3 we will commit backstab v7 v3 so we're up by four minus one so she is evaded We will buy. Oh, wait, we can go with a flashlight. Yes. Okay, so we'll use the we'll add flashlight to get it down to two. So we're going at 3v2 for this investigate. We can spend two resources to buy a clue. Actually, I should put the six clues there. bought a clue yes. and then we're investigating up by two right we're going at no 3v2 we'll commit sneak attack to be 4v2 up by two oh wait i forgot before i do this the haunted is she's going to attack me right So we're not going to do that, actually. We're not going to do the, the charge on the flashlight, and we're not going to do the sneak attack. Forgot about haunted. So instead, we'll just spend the four resources to about the clue with Lola. Okay, which doesn't cost an action. So we moved, we invaded. We have two actions left, so we will spend two resource, two of our clues, and two of our clues. To remove two doom from her. Excellent. Okay. Diana will move in for her first action. She will investigate using six cents. She's up by three. She's up by four. Zero. She gets a clue. Again, up by four. Tentacle. Okay. So we have to, uh, we spin the clue. We see either place one doom on Nam or she attacks you. Okay, we'll take the attack. Put one horror and damage. And the horror on the rosary. All right, attacking or we're investigating again at seven v four, up by three. We'll commit a holy rosary to be up by four. Minus two. Okay, so we got another clue. Gonna come on to ha. Huh, we couldn't have used flashlight anyway because it bedeviled. So uh, we'll have her go on to Preston because he can evade easily enough. Makes sense. Okay. And then they each have to discard their their hands. And draw up. So Preston discards his two cards and he draws sneak attack and well connected. And Diana gets rid of four cards. And she will draw. So 
draw a counter spell, deny existence, dodge, and extra ammunition. Okay. And then enough keep. Get a coup de gras. And a resource. And let's see. Diana takes a horror from cycling her deck. We'll shuffle. Oh, and we had to discard at the end of her turn. We had to discard. That's one of rats, thankfully. Nice. Kind of liking that disquieting dreams, actually. Okay, and then Diana will draw a six cents. All right, one doom goes on the agenda. Preston draws shapes in the mist. So he has to put one dar doom on her, or she attacks. It's fine; he can take it. So two horror and a damage. Surges into Metalsome Familiar. Okay, a swarm of rats comes in, engaged with us. There's one right here, so we'll just grab it. And we take one damage. So, all the things <laughs> damage are on. Preston. And then Diana. Evil Past. Okay, get Surge because we already have an Evil Past. Pull by the stars. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we've got how much Doom to get off of her. Okay, well, actually, Diana can just do this. Diana goes first, and she spins one. Two, three, to take three Doom off of her. We got a cool R2. We've, uh, once you get all the Doom off her, that's it. We've gotten our, should be four victory points for our locations. three and four all right so our four victory points we're good to go we are successful so thanks for watching i hope that to uh, see you next time on winging it